Hey guys, I'm back! In today's video, I'm gonna be customizing my iPad and you guys get to see exactly how I do it from start to finish. First, we're gonna need a blank canvas, so I'm gonna be removing every single thing on the home screen right now. Now that I have a blank canvas, I'm gonna go onto Pinterest to look for a wallpaper that I wanna use. I'm thinking something gradient. So let's look for one that we like. Hmm. Oh, that's nice. I'm going to download this wallpaper and then we're going to use it on our home screen. Let's go into our settings and go to wallpaper and we're going to add a new wallpaper. So this is our wallpaper that we're going to use. I think it looks really cute. We're going to set it as a pair. And there we have our wallpaper. And now I'm going to add all the widgets and all my apps. So I'm going to need my calendar. Because I forget stuff. Okay, so we have our calendar. Mm, need a clock. place it here and then let's, let's maybe add a little picture we will customize all of that later I'm just gonna put in all the widgets right now and then YouTube Okay, I like how it's looking so far and I really can't wait to see how it's gonna look like in the end because I have some ideas, you guys. Okay, I'm gonna need to see my battery because the little thingy in the corner just is just not enough for me. Let's use this. It's gonna be cute. Uh, Okay, so let's also add in the weather widget. Um, so we have our weather widget and I think I'm gonna have it as a stack together with the batteries. I think that would be nice. Yes, indeed it is. Oh look, it's about to storm here. And of course we need Spotify. Let's add her there and maybe we could add another picture. Let's use Widget Smith. Okay, next. I think I'm going to start filling it with my apps. Now we got to fill in the bottom. I'm not really feeling having two rectangular widgets at the bottom, so I think I'm going to go with a big one. And I think I want it to be a big picture, so we're gonna use Widget Smith again. We're gonna put it down here. Right, I think that is really, really cute. I really, really like this layout. Of course, I'll be filling in my folders later on, but for now, we're gonna add in our pictures to the widgets. Let's go back to Pinterest. Let's see. What are we going to look for? I like having my home screen just like my phone to be kind of like my vision board so I think I'm gonna do that. This might take a while so I'm gonna get back to you guys. So I found all the photos that I want to use. I took two of them from Pinterest and the rest are just my pets. Now let's start putting all the pictures that we chose onto the home screen. So let's go into Widget Smith. Since I have a bunch of photos of my pets, I'm gonna go with Photo Collection. We're gonna go here and we're gonna start choosing our photos. I'm gonna choose these four and we're gonna press save. I forgot to crop it properly so I'm gonna do that right now. Perfect. 
We have two of my cats here right now and we're gonna have to change the other one. We're gonna create another small widget and then we're gonna change the widget that we have on our home screen. So let's do that. Add a small widget photo. This is a photo that I took off Pinterest. So I think this looks really cute. And now for our large widget. Let's go in and go to our large widget. We're gonna change the photo. I'm gonna save it. I like it. I think that looks good. So now that we're done customizing our widgets, I'm gonna start adding some apps to my dock and I think I want to add my FaceTime, my messages, and of course my reminders. Okay, so now that we're done here, we're going to move on to the next step, which is using Canva because I have some really good ideas and I can't wait to show you guys. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a screenshot of my home screen, save it, and then we're going to go into Canva. So we're going to create a design. We're going to import our photo. Use in a new design, custom size, create new design. Okay, so we have our home screen here and we're going to use it as like a reference of how we want to design our wallpaper. So what I'm going to do is, okay, please don't look at everything here because it's private and confidential for work. I'm going to add in a new page and add in our wallpaper. We're going to set it as the background. I need my pen. I'm thinking at the bottom right for the large widget. I want it to be like a sticky note, so we're going to look for a sticky note. Sticky note. There we go. Let's see all. Uh, I'm gonna pick this one. I'm gonna lower the opacity on the background so we could see what we're doing. And we're gonna put this to the back. Just so we have an idea of what's going on. I'm gonna make it a little bit larger. And then we're gonna Move it to fit it properly. I feel like I'm blind. Does it look? Yeah, I think it's fine. Let's move it back to the front so we can see the colors properly. I want this to be more of a brown shade. Oops, wrong shade, wrong shade, y'all. Okay, I like that brown. So, okay, we're gonna change this to white. Actually, for the back, let's use this color and for the front. Let's use that. Oh, I don't really like it. That, that. I think I want to have a butterfly. I like butterflies. Do you? I like this. Okay, let's make her tiny. Let's bring her here. And let's flip her. Turn her. And then we check everything again. Okay, now that we're done with that, I think I'm going to add like a little border around the calendar. So let's create a shape. Let's bring it over here. And then we're going to add a stroke at the sides. We're going to add a border. It's a bit too much, too much. Around four. Yes, four is good. And now we're gonna change the color. Let's use some purple and let's make it a light purple. And then we're gonna see how she looks like in front. That's cute. Now we're gonna customize a YouTube widget. Let's see what can we find. Okay, so after a while of searching, I finally found one that I really like. So we're going to use that. Let's see. 
here and we're going to make it smaller. Um, and then we're going to do the same thing. We're going to bring it below our home screen. This part can get a little bit tedious. If you want, you can work on it on Illustrator, but if you're like me, then can't well. So now we're gonna change the color of this and we're gonna go with white. And again, let's bring it back to the front so we could see how the layout looks. I think I'm gonna add some little plants at the bottom of the screen near the dock. So let's look for plants. Maybe some flowers. I like this. We were still missing a little something. So I found like a little color swatch thing and we're gonna use that. And I'm gonna turn it and we're gonna put it right at the side. I think it's a bit too long, so I'm going to crop it. Now we're going to change the colors of these squares to fit our wallpaper theme. So... I think I want to have like a little cat sleeping at the dock. I think that would be really really cute. So now that we have our layout, I'm going to duplicate the canvas so I can remove the background. So we'll duplicate it and then we are going to unlock this. I'm just going to unlock this as well. And we're going to take this and we are going to delete it. And there you have it, this is how my home screen is going to look like. So I'm going to save it and then we can use it. And then we're going to go into our settings, into our wallpaper, customize, photos. And this is how it looks like, isn't it? Oh, isn't it gorgeous? I, I'm in love, you guys. One thing I want to note on is that this wallpaper that I just did is made for landscape only. So if you were to switch it to portrait, it, it's just going to look weird. But I always use my iPad in landscape mode, so that doesn't really bother me. But if it's going to bother you, then I don't suggest you do this. Anyway, that is it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you're new here because we are so close to 500 subscribers which means I'm so close to being monetized and I'm really really excited about that. It's like a dream come true for me. So really, thank you guys so much for supporting me this whole time. I really appreciate you guys and I guess that's all from me. Again, thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!